check for this. This one again, again guys, identifying the LCD. This does not have a denominator, so that's one. And again, the least, you know, think about the LCD is like, what's the least common denominator of four and three? Well, the easiest way to find the LCD of three and four, if four and three is just to multiply them. Four times three is 12. Four divides into 12, three divides into 12. These, they're kind of a little bit harder as far as finding the multiples of x minus four, right? Or the multiples of x plus four. So the easiest way to find the least common multiple is to just multiply them. So the LCD here is going to be x minus four times x plus four. One we don't really care so much about. So I'm just gonna multiply everything by x minus four times x plus four. Everything. Okay, by doing that, you guys can see these x minus fours divide out. Um, you can see these x plus fours divide out. And so therefore we have uh, x plus four minus two times x minus four all over x plus one times x minus four times x plus four. All right, um, so we go ahead and simplify this. Here we're gonna be left with, um, this should have been a, let's see, that's gonna be a negative x. So we distribute this. So we'd have x plus four minus two x plus eight. No? Oh, okay. Okay, notice here, um, these, that's gonna go to 12 and that's gonna go to negative x. Now, does anything divide out in my numerator or my denominator? Does anything divide out? No, so guys, what happens when we still plug in negative one? When we evaluate for negative one, what is that gonna be? Zero, zero. times that is zero, times that is zero. So even though we went through all the mathematics of eliminating the LCD, we still didn't do anything mathematically that could have simplified us, so therefore, this limit still does not exist, okay? Now, a lot of the problems that you're gonna get, obviously, those are gonna be, have been worked out, right? And there's usually, 